is kind. It's not jealous anytime. It's not proud and it's not rude. Love forgives and speaks the truth. Break. It doesn't easily get mad. Love is hopeful and it tries. When we love, we never give up. Oh, yeah. Love will never fail. Oh, yeah. Love will never fail. Sing it. Oh, yeah. Love will never fail. Oh, yeah. Love will never fail. Hey, C3 Kids, Vic Vroom here. So excited you can join us for our new Vroom series. Now remember, each week there will be a mystery word. So be sure to watch and listen because it will always come with a wink. Then send in your answers to Miss Elisa. Contact info will be at the end of the video. So ready, set, Vroom! I can't believe Screech stopped me from getting revenge on Brad. Oh, I'm so gonna beat him in the race today. What? Hello? Screech! Fire! fire drop, stop! Drop a wall! What? Where? What? What time is it? Uh, it's almost race time. Did you sleep here all night? Yeah, I must have. Oh, I was working on your off-road vehicle all night. I'm just so worried about the race still. What's there to be worried about? Vic, uh, while you were so busy planning your revenge yesterday, I had to clean all the garage by myself. And find all my tools. Oh, and that most valuable thing that Brad took mm -hmm. happened to be the instruction manual for the off-road vehicle. So I had to find a new one. That didn't leave me with much time to work on your off-road vehicle. Well, what you did with the modifications will be great. I'm sure to win today. Well, that's not the worst part. You haven't had any time to practice driving in the mud. It's a good thing it hasn't rained. At least it's not wet out there. How hard could it be? Like driving a truck. What are the chances that it'll rain in the next couple of hours? out on the track now. You cannot accelerate too quickly from the start line or you'll get stuck in the mud. Vic, are you listening? Uh-huh. Accelerate too quickly. Ah, can you believe all the rain today? Where did that come from? Oh, looks much better in here. Good job. Are you ready for the race? Mm -hmm. It is about to begin. Now, do you remember the formula for winning the race? One, a tank full of gas, two, a foot full of lead, and three, a dash of joy. I've got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Yeah, down in my heart. Yeah, down in my heart. Well, I hope we've done enough. We better get to that race. There's nothing to worry about, Screech. Well, 
hey, you know, at least you finished the race. And you got yourself unstuck. So that's a good thing. Yeah, the good thing would have been winning. But you told me the truth. Not to accelerate too quickly from the start. And I may have not won, but at least I finished. That's a good attitude, Vic. And sometimes just finishing brings you just as much joy as winning. You can appreciate all your hard work. Yeah, but winning would have been better. But if I listen closer to what you told me when I drive in the wet mud, then I would have had the joy of winning. And I've learned my lesson for next time. Well, it's very important that you do win the race next time. Otherwise, you won't be the Room 500 champ. But don't worry, we'll be prepared. You bet. And I'm very happy that Brad from Team Breaks and All was disqualified from sabotaging our garage. And it brought me so much joy. Oh, come on. Let's go get you cleaned up. Hey there, race fans. I'm Kit Carson, and welcome back to the Inside Track, where we, I tell you everything you need to know to stay in the fast lane. I wonder where Miles Miller is. Miles? Miles? Hey, hey, hey Kit. Look what they uh, had left over at the race. Free desserts. There you are, Miles. Um. What are you doing? Well, uh, what does it look like I'm doing? Only the coolest trick ever! You probably <gasps> shouldn't balance all those pies on your head. Well, why not? Everyone at the race thought it was awesome. I've got mad skills. I could totally be in the circus. If you keep balancing those pies on your head, something really bad is going to happen. I know it. Nah, I'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong, wrong, wrong? Ooh, you're covered in pie, and you don't look very happy. Kit, I see clearly now. Well, sorta. I should have listened to you and not tried to carry those pies on my head. I wish you would have. You know what? This is a good reminder. I really need to start listening to you more because I know you care and want me to be happy. And well, not covered in pie. <laughs> That's right, Miles, I do care, because love is full of joy when the truth is spoken. Take Paul, for example. Yeah, the guy we talked about last week. Whatever happened to that guy? Well, once his friends helped him escape from town, he continued telling people about Jesus. Some leaders were not happy about this, so they sent guards to arrest him. The guards took Paul and some other prisoners onto a boat. As they were sailing on the open seas, a huge storm came. The crew of the boat decided to just keep sailing. This was not good. Paul told everyone, listen to me, I tell you the truth. We can't keep sailing in this bad storm. Bad things are going to happen. If we don't stop the way we're headed, I think we might lose things off the boat. Shipwreck or maybe even worse. Oh no, none of that sounds like a good plan. I really do hope they all listen to Paul. They didn't listen to Paul, and because of that, bad things did happen. The storm got so crazy that they had to throw all of the food and cargo from the side of the boat into the ocean. They had nothing to eat. So let me get this straight. Paul tried to show everyone on board the boat love by telling them the truth, and because they didn't listen, they were stuck in the middle of a horrible storm with no food? That's right. They were hungry and scared. The whole storm lasted for days and days, and as the boat rocked back and forth, they were sure that this was the end. Was it the end? Did Paul and the crew make it? Paul told the crew, guys, you really should have listened to me, but be brave, you will all be okay. God told me last night that we don't need to be afraid. Even if we have a shipwreck, we will all live. The men on the boat finally trusted what Paul said, and sure enough, the boat broke into pieces and shipwrecked on an island, but everyone was safe and sound, just like God told Paul they would be. Because they were safe instead of being scared, they were filled with joy. I see now. When Paul tried to tell them about the storm, they didn't listen, and because of that, they were scared and upset. 
But once they realized that Paul was telling them the truth, they listened to Paul and ended up being happy. That's because Paul showed the love to everyone by speaking truth. Love is full of joy when the truth is spoken. Just like what you were saying to do with the pies, huh? You got it. Next time someone tries to help me, I'm going to listen for sure. Great idea, Miles. Then maybe we would have some pie to share that isn't smeared in your hair and uh, Mmm. Mmm. Well, it's still delicious. Well, race fans, that's all for today. Join us next week when we take another lap on the Inside, Inside Track. Track. Hey race team, looks like you have some extra pit crew hands for us today. That is great news because your cars need a big tune up before we vroom on over to the big race. Friends, would you like to help us get our cars in tip top shape? Yes! Great, the first thing we need to do is make sure the tires on our cars are nice and tight. Everyone grab your wrenches. Thanks Sparky! Now, let's give it a good twist this way. Great job! Now, let's give it a good twist that way. Great! Now, let's grab our rags. We'll use these to wipe off all the bugs and dirt from our cars. Thanks, Sparky! Everyone, let's wipe our race cars until they shine. Wow! Look at those cars shine! Now it's time to fill up your love tanks with a story from God's Word. Friends, do you know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right. Let's all get ready to fuel up with a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Great. Now let's put on our Good Loves racing goggles. Zoop, zoop. zoop. Now you're ready. Today we are going to hear a story about a man named Paul. Can you shout Paul? Paul! Yes, yeah, some angry men had put Paul in jail, even though he had not done anything wrong. While he was in jail, a group of very angry men made a plan to hurt Paul. They planned to trick the soldiers who were guarding Paul. When the soldiers brought Paul out of the jail, the angry men were going to grab Paul and kill him. If you think this sounds like a very bad plan, let me hear you shout, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no is right. Things aren't looking so great for Paul right now. Well, Paul's nephew happened to hear the angry men talking about their plan. He quickly went to jail to see his Uncle Paul and tell him about how the angry men were planning to hurt him. Paul quickly sent his nephew to the commander of the soldiers. Let me see all of you pretend to run fast, just like Paul's nephew. Good job. When Paul's nephew got to the commander, he told him about the plans of the angry men. So the commander came up with a new plan to keep Paul safe. You see, the commander gave Paul a horse to ride. Then, around Paul's horse, the commander put a whole bunch of horses and a whole bunch of soldiers to protect him. They all marched together until Paul was safe again. Let me hear all of you pat the floor and sound like all the horses and soldiers marching around the city. Great job. You see, because Paul's nephew did what was right, his uncle was safe and sound. Here on the Good Loves Racing Team, we show others love on and off the track by doing what is right. As you are in the garage and out on the track today, don't forget that you can do what is right too. Hey, why don't you say this after me before you vroom away? Do. Do. What is right. What is right. You've got it. Well, it looks like you're ready to race. Make your way to the starting line and keep an eye out for the green flag. It's going to let you know when it's time to go.
Get up! 